In this problem, we are factoring a quadratic, and this time we're going to use a method called the AC method. Sometimes this method might seem to you like it's more trouble than it's worth, but it works, and Alex wants you to know how to do this, so we're going to give it a shot here. When they say AC, they're referring to the letters that we usually use uh, to describe the coefficients in a quadratic. The x squared term, the first term, we call that coefficient A. So here, A is 5. Uh, the x term we call b, so b is 6 here, and c is our constant term, so in this case that's negative 8. The steps in using the ac method are to multiply a times c. So in this case, well let's just list this a equals 5, b equals 6, and c, oops, 6 equals negative 8. So a times c is 5 times a negative 8, and that is negative 40. So that's the first step. Just multiply a times c. And then the next step is to list all the factors of a times c. And we've got a negative number here, so we're going to do negative and positive factors. So let's, um, let's start making a list here. Uh, I guess negative 1 and 40, and then negative 2. I'll do the positive first ones next. Negative 2 and 20. Um, we've got negative 4 and 10, and negative 5 and 8. So that would be one set. Uh, we could switch the signs on those and go 1 and negative 40, and 2 and negative 20, and 4 and negative 10, and 5 and negative 8. And I think we might have all our factors. So there's the list. And the next thing we want to do is choose the pair that adds up to b. b here is 6. That's the coefficient of our, our middle term, our x term. So where does it add up to 6? I'm just looking here, you know, negative 1 and 40, that's 39. So if we're adding these, negative 2 and 20 is 18. Negative 4 and 10, oh, there we go. We got a positive 6. So that's the one that adds up to positive 6. So these two numbers. Are, are important numbers. And the next step is to rewrite this equation in a slightly different way. So instead of 6x, we want to rewrite this as negative 4x plus 10x. And, you know, negative 4x plus 10x is 6x, so this is legal, this is allowed. So this equation right here is the same as this equation, it just looks slightly more complicated. The reason we do that is because then we can group uh, and, and factor by grouping. So let's just take this chunk together and this chunk together and see if we can factor anything out. In the first one, you can factor out an x. So in that case, we'd get 5x minus 4. And in this one, we can factor out a 2. So we'd get uh -huh, 5x minus 4. So in this case, we've got the same term in parentheses. If that's the case, you can change this around to x plus 2 times this 5x plus 4. So I've run, run out of room here. Let me put this up top. So this I can regroup this part to be x plus 2, that's this and this, times 5x minus 4. So when you enter this into Alex, that first step is rewriting the equation. And in this case, we had a, a minus 4 plus 10. So we'd probably choose this one. So minus 4x plus 10x. And then our factorization, the answer would be x plus 2 times 5x minus 4. So that is how to factor a quadratic using the AC method.